Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli and today our topic is how to create LinkedIn posts using Google Gemini. So here I'm managing my company LinkedIn account and I regularly want to post on my LinkedIn account. Now for saving some time and energy, what I want is that I automatically want to create some posts for my LinkedIn account. So for my objective, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first set up a Google Sheet where I'm going to add the post title and the post images. So after adding these details, what I'm going to do is I'm going to automatically use all those details and I'm going to use Google Gemini to automatically generate my post description or the post text. Now after generating this content, what I'm going to do is I'm going to automatically create new posts on my LinkedIn account. So for my objective, I have to build a connection between Google Sheets, Google Gemini and LinkedIn. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. Now with Pabli Connect, as I'm going to receive a new post details added in my Google Sheet, then automatically I'm going to generate content by using Google Gemini. And after generating that content, I'm going to create new posts in LinkedIn. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen and today we are going to see how we can create LinkedIn posts using Google Gemini. So crafting, engaging and professional LinkedIn posts can be a time consuming, especially when you need to maintain a consistent posting schedule to keep your audience engaged. By using Google Gemini, a powerful tool, we can streamline this process and ensure LinkedIn content is always compelling and relevant. So imagine I'm a business owner or a marketing professional responsible for managing my company's LinkedIn presence. So regular posting high quality content on LinkedIn is essential for building your brand, engaging with your audience and generating leads. However, coming up with new ideas and crafting well-written posts can be a, can take up a significant amount of your time and maintaining a consistent posting schedule is crucial for keeping your audience engaged and growing your LinkedIn presence. By automating the creation of LinkedIn posts ensures you never miss a posting deadline and Google Gemini's advanced AI capability can generate high quality professional content tailored to your brand's voice and audience. This will help in maintaining the quality and relevance by your post and by integrating Google Gemini with your LinkedIn strategy using Pabli Connect can automate the creation of LinkedIn posts, ensuring that your content is always engaging, consistent and aligned with your brand. So here for my objective, I'm maintaining a Google Sheet where I'm adding the post titles and the image URL of my post. Now by using these details, I'm automatically going to craft or generate post description or post text by using Google Gemini. And as I'm going to generate that post description, then automatically I will create a new post on LinkedIn with all these details. So here for doing this automatically and for setting up this automation, what I need to do is I need to use Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software that requires zero coding and programming skills for integrating these applications. So here for using Pabli Connect, I need to open a new tab and search for pabli.com slash connect in my browser. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Now here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If we don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then we can just click on this sign up for free button. And this will take only two minutes of our time and we will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account, we can just sign in and we will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I need to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect. And this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here, what I need to do is I need to create a new workflow. And for that, I'm going to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Now here I need to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to create LinkedIn posts using Google Gemini. And now what I need to do is I need to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and here I will find all the folders that I have in my Pabli Connect account. And here I have this particular folder of Google Generative AI. So I'm going to select this and now I'm going to click on create. And this will take us to this window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So here we need to set up our trigger first and here in our workflow, we can only set up one trigger step and multiple action steps. So here in my trigger application, I'm going to use Google Sheets 
So I'm going to search for that. And now I'm going to select Google Sheets here. Now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab. A newer updated spreadsheet row will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And now what I need to do is I need to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect in my workflow. And for that, I need to use this Webhook URL. So this Webhook URL is going to work as a bridge between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. Now for connecting these two applications, I need to follow all these instructions. And first I need to copy this Webhook URL. Now I need to take you to my Google Sheet first. And here I am going to use this spreadsheet of LinkedIn posts. So for connecting this spreadsheet with Pabli Connect, what I need to do is I need to go to extensions. And here I need this particular extension of Pabli Connect Webhooks. So if we don't have this extension, then what we need to do is we need to go to add-ons. We need to go to get add-ons. And here this will take us to Google Workspace Marketplace. Here we need to search for our extension that is Pabli Connect Webhooks. So we need to open our extension and we will see our extension like this. So here we need to install this extension and I have already installed this. So I'm going to close this. And after installing the extension, what we need to do is we need to refresh our spreadsheet. Now after refreshing this spreadsheet, what we need to do is we need to go to extensions and we will see our extension here in this list. So here we need to go to initial setup and we need to click here. Now here in initial setup, what we need to do is we need to connect this spreadsheet with Pabli Connect. And here we are going to connect sheet one. So I have selected my sheet one. Now what I need to do is I need to give my Webhook URL and the trigger column. So here I'm going to paste that Webhook URL that I have copied from Pabli Connect. And now I need to give a trigger column. So the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the Webhook URL. So here in my spreadsheet, I have this column B, which is my last data entry column. And as the data will be filled in this particular column, then automatically I want to send the data of that row to Pabli Connect. So here column B is going to be my trigger column. So I'm going to type that. And now what I need to do is I need to click on send test. And the test data has been sent successfully. So I have sent the data of the first row automatically to Pabli Connect as the test data. And now I need to click on submit. And my setup is configured successfully. Now I'm going to close this. And here I have the post title that is how to grow your social media. And this is my image URL. So I have sent this data automatically to Pabli Connect as my test data. Now here in my spreadsheet, I also want that as I'm going to add the new rows with my post details, then automatically I also want to send that data to Pabli Connect. So for this, I need to go to extensions. I need to go to Pabli Connect Webhooks and I need to enable this option of send on event. Now, after enabling this option, what is going to happen is that as I'm going to add the data in a new row in my spreadsheet, then automatically the data of that row will be sent to Pabli Connect. Now let me take you back to Pabli Connect. And here we can see I have received this response. So in this response, I have my trigger column that is column B. I have my spreadsheet name that is LinkedIn post. I have my sheet name that is sheet one. I have the post title that is how to grow your social media. And I have my image URL. So here I have received all these details from my Google Sheet. And now by using all these details, what I need to do is I need to first create a description for my post that I want to create on LinkedIn. And I'm going to create this post description or the post text by using Google Gemini. So for using Google Gemini, I need to first set up my action step. So I'm going to open this tab. And here my action application is going to be Google Generative AI or Google Gemini. So I'm going to select Google Generative AI here. Now I need to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and generate content will be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And now I'm going to connect Google Generative AI with Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click here on connect. I will click on add new connection. And now for connecting Google Generative AI with Pabli Connect, I need an API key. So how I can get this API key? For that, I need to first log into my Google Gemini account and I need to go to Google AI Studio. So if you want to open Google AI Studio, you can directly open that by clicking here on this hyperlink. And here, this is my Google Generative AI. Now here, what I need to do is I need to generate a new API key. So for generating the API key, I need to click on this get API key button. And here for creating a new API key, I need to click on this create API key button. And now first I need to search the project that I want to use and where I want to create my API key. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to select the existing project. So I'm going to select this my first project and I need to click on create API key in existing project. 
and here we can see I have generated this API key. So I'm going to copy this. I will close this. I will go back to public connect and I'm going to paste that here. So this is my API key. Now I need to click on save and I have successfully connected Google Generative AI with public connect. Now for generating the text or the description for my post, what I need to do is I need to give a text or the prompt and now by using this prompt, I'm going to generate unique and professional LinkedIn post text or the description. So here my text will be create a description for my LinkedIn post on topic. And after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the response of my Google sheet from which I'm going to receive the title of my post that I want to create in LinkedIn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to map that response here. And for that, I need to use mapping. So what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So here I'm going to map the title of my post. So I'm going to give a space. I'm going to open this response of Google sheets and here this is my post title. So I'm going to map this and after this, my prompt continues with and create unique and engaging description without adding any extra information or do not do any extra formatting. So here this is going to be my prompt that I'm going to use for generating new description for my LinkedIn post. Now after this, I need to select my model. So I'm going to open this tab and here I'm going to use this model slash Gemini pro model and you can use any other model that you want to use. So I'm going to select this and here I want to generate the content. So my method will be that too. Now here I have filled all the required details. So what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So in this response, we can see I have generated this description for my post that I want to create on LinkedIn. So here, this is my content. Now here we can see that I have received the title of my post. I have received the description. I have the image URL and I have all these details by using Google sheet and Google Gemini. Now what I need to do is I need to use all these details and now I need to create a new post in my LinkedIn account. So for that, I need to add my last action step. So I'm going to click here on this add action step button. And here my action application is going to be LinkedIn. So I'm going to search for that and I'm going to select LinkedIn here. Now I need to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and share text with image will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect LinkedIn with public connect. So I'm going to click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I need to click on connect with LinkedIn. And here we can see I have successfully connected LinkedIn with public connect as I have already logged into my LinkedIn account in the browser. So it has detected that and it has connected LinkedIn with public connect. Now for creating a new post in LinkedIn, I need to first select my author and I only have one author in my account. So that is already selected. Now what I need to do is I need to give the image file URL. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the image URL of my post. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Google sheets. And here, this is going to be my image URL. So I'm going to map this and now I need to give my text content. So here for the text content, what I need to do is I need to first map my post title. So I'm going to open the response of Google sheets and here, this is my post title. So I'm going to map this. Now I'm going to enter a new line and I'm going to map the content that I've generated by using Google Gemini. And this is going to be the description of my post. So I'm going to open the response of Google Gemini. And here, this is my content. So I'm going to map this. So this is my description or you can say caption of my post and I need to select my visibility. So I want to keep my post public. So I'm going to select public here and here I have filled all the required details and I have mapped all these detail here. So as I have mapped all these detail here, so what is going to happen is that as I'm going to receive a new response from Google sheet or Google Gemini or any previous steps, then automatically all these details that I have mapped here are going to get replaced with the new detail in the real time. Now I need to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So in this response, I have this message that says file uploaded successfully. And this means that I have created a new post automatically on my LinkedIn account with all these details. So to check this, let me take you to LinkedIn. So here, this is my LinkedIn account. So I'm going to refresh this. And now I'm going to scroll down and here in this activity section, we can see I have created this new post. So I'm going to open this and here, this is my post and this is my image that says how to grow your social media. 
and in this we can see I have this title of my post that is how to grow your social media and this is my description of my post. So by using Google Gemini I have generated this post description and automatically by using that description I have created a new post in LinkedIn. So here we can see that by using Google Gemini I am creating LinkedIn post and here I have created this automation between Google Sheets, Google Gemini and LinkedIn. Now here what is going to happen is that as I'm going to add a new post title in my Google Sheet, then automatically by using the detail of that post, I'm going to use Google Gemini to generate description or text or caption of my post. And as I'm going to generate that content, then automatically I'm going to create a new post on my LinkedIn account. So to check this in real time, what I need to do is I need to go back to Google Sheets and here I need to add the new post title and the image URL. So here I'm going to do that and my post title here will be key tips for financial success and now I'm going to add my image URL. So here this is my image URL and as I have added this in my trigger column that is column B, then automatically by using all these details, a post should be created in my LinkedIn account. So for my post, I have used Google Gemini to automatically generate the description or the caption and by using all those details, I have created a new post in LinkedIn. So to check this, let me take you to LinkedIn. I will go back. And here I'm going to refresh this. And here on post section, we can see I have created this new post. So the title of my post is key tips for financial success. And I have generated this description or the caption by using Google Gemini. And here I have uploaded this image in my post. So as I've added all these details in my Google Sheet, then automatically by using Google Gemini, I have generated the description for my post or the caption of my LinkedIn post. Then after generating that content, I have automatically created a new post on my LinkedIn account. So here by this automation, I can regularly and automatically post engaging and professional content on my LinkedIn account and it will save a lot of time and energy. So here I have successfully created this automation between Google Sheets, Google Gemini and LinkedIn. And now I need to take you back to Public Connect. And here in Public Connect, I have created this connection between Google Sheets, Google Gemini and LinkedIn to create LinkedIn posts using Google Gemini. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Google Sheets and my trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet row. Then I have set up my action step and my action application was Google Generative AI and my action event was generate content. Then in the last, I have used LinkedIn as my action application and my action event here was share text with image. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these application, you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate pabli.com. And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.